Hello, welcome back. I hope you all saw the last video I made about the Fellows Auction House. Now, I did buy a watch. I was thinking about getting the Piaget, but I dug a little deeper and I thought it was pretty small, but it was so small that it's a lady's watch, so I avoided that one. There's a couple of others. The Longines I thought were a bit too expensive and I think the Conquest Heritage went for 520 without fees so it's a lot of money and I think it's a bit too much. So this is the Breitling Headwind that I bought. It's in okay condition. Case wise bracelet, not bad. I mean there's some scuffs but it's a diver's watch you're going to expect that. Now I won the auction at 5,000 now, I'm joking, 1,050 pounds. But after Fellows absolutely molested me with the fees, it took that up to 1,365 pounds. So an okay price. I mean, there was one other one on eBay, which up for 2,450, but I'm not even gonna use that as a reference. I think that's a bit overpriced to be honest with you. But yeah, 1,365 is okay. Without box of papers, I mean, I expected it to be pretty good, but I'll let you know why it's not good. Now, I went into Fellows to pick it up. I picked up the IWC last time because I don't really want to wait for delivery because I was too excited. So I went in, had to give my ID over. They scanned it for an alarming like five minutes. Don't know why it took so long. And then I got my receipt then I had to look at the, she said, can you look at the camera please? Now I looked at the camera a lot. So I had to take my picture, which is a bit weird. Don't know why they need that. Maybe I'm gonna go on the wall or something. Anywho, the watch came in a nice blue bag. Where's the bag? Hold on, I'll, I'll get the bag. This nice blue bag. And it came in what can only be described as something you would use to smuggle something else into a prison. You can use your imagination on that one. But it was all right packaging, to be honest. At least the watch was somewhat safe. As I showed you earlier in the video, the case and the bracer are really good. Now, the clasp is not very good. The actual clasp is bent on each side so it's uneven but one of the things you do with this is you bend it in and out on both sides and then it should be able to clamp better which is what I did and it now works better I took this apart to try and fix it I took the the lock in and all the clasp off the bracelet completely and I took these screws out on the barrel and it was a nightmare to get back in like holy moly it's still a bit loose because I need to screw it in, but I need something else to hold the other screw at the same time. But that's something that I can get done myself. I can tell the watch has been polished and not very well. With the Breitling logo, the ING are just basically gone. So it's a pretty uneven polish, unless there was a massive gash there, I would not know. The look of the watch is sensational. And the movement works great. I haven't put it on a time graphic yet, so I don't know about the accuracy, but I'll let you all know that when I get the information. The main problem with it is the crystal. The crystal has got a lot of fogging on it, which was the first red flag. The crystal has also got scratches on it, but that's just one of them things. It is a diver's watch I expected to get beaten around, but the fogging was quite worrying. Once I got my loop and I looked deeper, underneath the bezel, under the crystal there are little moisture pads i don't know what you call them but it's there's been water and then it's dried up and it's left a bit of residue and also the indices are really really dirty you can't really see it from the naked eye but when i had it under the loop it's pretty bad and also where the brightling b logo is with the wings there's a bit of lint or something underneath it not the chocolate now the course of action for this is either i take it apart blow the dial a bit to try and clean it up and either refurbish the crystal or buy a new crystal. As I'm a student, I don't really want to be experimenting on a watch that is £1,365. Now, my course of action 
is to go to a jeweler's and see what they would do and get some advice. Maybe I get them to change the crystal. I don't know. We'll have to see. The bezel, by the way, works really nicely. Ooh. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, from them side effects, it's pretty clear that it's had water damage in it. It's been repaired well to the extent that the movement's working fine. But the one thing is, obviously, the polish isn't very good. Also, on the Brightling bezels of this era, it's like on the Brightling Colt. There's a little etched B in the bezel. This one's pretty polished off, so the bezel's been polished as well. If I was to make a story of this before it went to auction, the previous owner probably got it wet, took it to his jewelers and said, I got it wet. They tried the best to fix it and stuff, and they said, oh, it's going to cost you so, so much to get a new dial, new crystal, and whatever. And they probably said, your best course of action is to chuck it in fellows and get some dickhead to buy it. Do I regret it? Probably not. Should I have learned from the IWC? Probably. It's still a nice watch. I mean, it's massive. I, I like it, but... It does need them things changing. I've got to decide if I'm going to sell it or repair it and sell it. So that's the course of action. Obviously go to the jewelers and see what they say. But the other thing with the clasp as well. I don't know if this is just the normal Brightling design or there's something wrong with this one. The actual clasp is so long it comes up to here. So it's almost round the side of your wrist. Which means this link here just gets absolutely trashed and it's angled so that it's not very comfortable on your wrist and it looks silly but yeah that might just be a brightling thing it's a very nice watch and it fits pretty nicely i mean i could probably get away with taking another link off it didn't come with anything so i didn't take any links off yet i just did the micro adjustments on the clasp and it fits nicely one funny thing is when i mentioned that it's probably been done by a jeweler the jeweler has lost one of the screws because i took the clasp off and it just fell apart the last link because the screw is not in there not a biggie because it's held together by the clasp but it would be nice to have the original screw in it but yeah i probably won't buy from auction for a while now so yeah thank you very much for watching if you want a brightling headwind uh nine thousand Business is business. Anyway, to all of you much for watching, we will subscribe, video, playlist. To all of you much.